it's fucking funny, as you know, in real life as well. You know, like him, his actual person. What the fuck in the future? Is he doing that? Yes, man. Are we doing all right, Carl? Fucking sterling, mate. What's happening, all right? All right, Bob. Hi, I'm so mealy. Welcome to uh, Ripping It Off podcast. We have a special episode today. I'm James Kilverton. I'm Callum Ankrum. I'm Bob Young. And today we have a great vest. A great vest. A great vest. <laughs> <laughs> he loves a vest, our Kilvoli. We have a great guest. He's a very talented singer, he's a sex icon. A style icon. And a style icon. I've really? seen him when he was walking into Middlesbrough there and I thought, fuck me, there's no one as stylish as that. It must be him. Songwriter. Songwriter. Musician. Pianist. And he's absolutely brilliant. And he is called Liam Fender. Who the fuck's Liam Fender? <laughs> he's our pal as Liam Fender, isn't he? Yeah. How are you, Liam? All right? I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, nice journey down. Lovely journey down. Feeling fresh it as was. a daisy. It's a nice day, He's isn't it? He's just concerned in case he gets a parking ticket. He's on edge. Uh, how much have you put in? Oh, He's going to put a put in. Half an hour? Half an hour. Half an hour we've got until quarter past ten. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? Can you hurry up and speed up things, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when when, when I'd done um, yeah. Hot Water Comedy Club ages ago <clears throat> in Liverpool, they were all paying for the parking tickets. When they're all paying for that, when I went down there, it was my first time ever doing the gig, and it was all like Paul Smith and all them, and they're all making really good money. And I'm I'm there in the back room, and I said, uh, "What's the crap with the parking here?" And they all started laughing. They're like, "Oh, you're not like the other lads, are you? Where you just like just don't just pay the fine. It's only sixty quid." And I was just sat there like, yeah. being, <laughs> sort of, like just fume and just sat there, you know, like I was like, "Did you feel like a dick?" As no, well? I went in the toilet and moved my car. <laughs> <laughs> I did as well. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> so they were just like, oh, there's another lad who comes down from Middlesbrough now and again. He always whinges on about the park. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, it, can you not just park outside there? Like, and they're like, nah, nah. And when you get a £60 farm, it's only £60. And I was like, I was like, yeah, 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 cool. Fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 in the red in my bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sick there, like yeah, yeah. What's the toilet today? Hey, so what's been happening to you guys? Liam Fender, things are going well for you at the minute. Everything seems to be on the up. It's cool to see. I like seeing me pals and that do well, and I will consider you a pal now after the amount of time we've spent together on things, on little journeys. We are. Um, so what's are, what are the next big steps? In I'm the... just waiting for it. I think I was saying on the way down, Carl, I'm just waiting for it to all go terribly wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. as soon as things start going right, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just totally... A, an eternal pessimist. It's, a, you, you, <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's all gonna go to fuck. Man. It's all doom and gloom. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, but it, I understand that mentality because they, they, when things are sailing on the con, someone always comes along and wallops you, doesn't it? It's, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. It's like when you get you get yourself back on your feet with your money, then someone comes in like your car fucks. <laughs> it is. You, know like, you, you forget to put oil in and blow <laughs> your engine up. <laughs> yeah, you know about that, don't you? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> and I forget about the diesel. And I put I put diesel in. Of petrol. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what he, it is? And then he turned down and he said, You've got the oil in, that's what's happened. And, uh, <laughs> in hindsight, you know, I think I might have filled your micro up with diesel by accident, you know. When? Oh, it's coming out now. <laughs> when that whole thing happened? It could have been me. Oh, fuck it. I bet it was you. It's coming out now. <laughs> I told him, we well, coming down here, and the, the engine, the, the light was on, the little engine, you know, and I gone, that lady, you want oil in here? No, no, it's been on once. It boomed next day, it seized up. I said, no wonder it's been on once. And you know about your cars as well. Aye, aye. You go kicking tyres and that. <laughs> you know what? He's that thick. He doesn't have no doubt about cars. I tend to let the clutch it, then you open the fucking door. Hey, 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 Aye, yeah. got it. He definitely knows what he's doing. He, he said, uh, it's your oil. I says, well, check it. He went, you check it? He didn't know where the oil stick was. That's how much you know. All right, so it's like fucking everyone just have a go call on his birthday because he doesn't have a call. Oh, it's your birthday. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Seen him yeah, drawing I mean, the birthday in there. Fucking hell, you know what I mean? I just thought I'd slide that one in and give it a shoe horn on that. I was going to you know? get him something, but he got me fuck all last week. Aye, well, <laughs> you know, know I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> what. Do you know what the high tension need is in a car? What? No. Do you, I'll give you a clue. What shape's in the field? A horse. What else? A cow. What else? 
The sheep. You know, I'm all with fucking shame, you do with coin. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so what he tells him. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot more than you'll ever know, son. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest, I'm shy when it comes to car. Blah, I blew an engine up before. On the way to Newcastle, actually, a Mondeo when I first See? got my first Mondeo. See, it's I didn't, not just didn't, me. Didn't put the oil in. I had a Mondeo years ago when I first, like, I've blew done it. Now, Our brother used ago. to take the piss out of us when I got it. It was like a second, like a proper, not second hand, it was just like an old Mondeo. Oh, mum and dad helped me out and that, you know, I said, oh, we'll get you on the road and mm. that. And I was a plasterer. So I was like, I need somewhere to put my toes in and that. Our brother's going out, we driving around in like the Undertaker's car. <laughs> <laughs> like, in a, like in a state of Monday, <laughs> like a fucking, fucking, fucking 18 year old. How everyone had like courses and that. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Monday, you know. <laughs> so like I told German Shepherds. Oh, like, oh, what a top on. He went about the hard rock as well. Um, yeah, so we sold out. Um, in two, two weeks, we, two weeks, two weeks we sold out the gym. On now, on next, we've got on the what date is it? On the twenty first of September, is it? I think it's the fifth. Let's, let's check. I don't know. I think it's the twenty first of yeah, September. Yeah, Thursday. Um, it's a Thursday. Yes, it is. Twenty uh, first of September. We've got Clinton Baptiste on. We've got Clinton Baptiste. Yeah, right. yeah, right. We've got Clinton on, and we've also got um, the guy from the Viz on. Simon Donald. Simon, Simon Donald. Donald. Aye. Do you know Simon? I do. I was going to see him. We'll probably good lad. be in the same circles yeah. as Simon. Um, so it'll be a good show, and then we'll get the middle act. That's still to be arranged. You've seen you've, you've seen Clinton as well, haven't you, live? Yeah. Last last gig before lockdown. Oh, did you? Clinton, Bob Teast, Willie Bay Playhouse. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Willie Bay's playoffs is I'm a good dying venue, I'm so excited, you know, like, I'm so excited to see Clinton, you know, honestly. I'm on, I'm on tour with him next year, yours Man. truly. Well done, Just man. thought I'd put that Please in as well, you know what I mean? Class, right? I'm <laughs> playing Newcastle Theatre Opera right. House, is it Opera House? Opera House. Oh, yeah, 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 nice gig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I never get a hearing aid, don't I? What? I need a hearing aid. He does it out. Do you need to put your headphones on now? No, I'm all right, I'm here at the minute. All right. Oh, I thought you were saying that because you couldn't hear what was going on, sorry. Yeah. It's what? just him sometimes touching oh, exp- quiet. Explain to them about your nail, what you cut to pick your nose. Huh? Oh, I'm ruined now, I've cut it. Oh, can, I can I get in there now? So, it, t- tell the people what you've done. <laughs> tell the people how, how what you've done. You, how you engineered your nail to get to the snot. <laughs> oh, when I split in the middle of it. Uh, <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell the people tell what you He's engineered, he's engineered his fingernail. <laughs> so it's designed now to reach the snot that he couldn't ever reach before. <laughs> That's evolution, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Matt. Is that your Willock picker? <laughs> I thought my nose was bleeding the other day, but it's not. Hey! <laughs> well, he's had a coffee this morning, man. He's yeah. knocking them out of the park this morning, <laughs> mate. So what's new, Lee? Mm. What's new? What? So, so, so take take us back, mate. Take us. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> back to the start. <laughs> Time when machine, did you start machine, playing music? music? When did I start playing? When did you well, start getting in, obviously interested? Obviously, you must have been interested. For this forward, is where yeah. so, this is where James tells you he plays guitar now. Now, me and you. Like David Brent, get the guitar. <laughs> Sorry, get, dude. The, get the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Free bird. <laughs> <laughs> what was in him? Sorry, mate. I can't afford it. Remember what was the question? <laughs> yeah, so when, when when did this all start, the music? Oh, it when? started very early on. In yeah, school? Sort of from a musical household, really. And, yeah, uh, yeah. From with the age of seven, really. I just, it was always this thing I wanted to do. And uh, that was it, really, from there on. And it's ruined my fucking life. <laughs> yeah, um, is, is but, that, um, so you've had that in your head, though, since being a kid? Yeah, yeah. That's all you've wanted? Always, yeah, pretty much. I love that, though. I do love yeah. that. Like, you know, like someone who knows what they want to do straight yeah, away. Yeah. So what like musical family was it like the like the Von Traps? Was it like fucking? <laughs> You've been listening to the Radio Newcastle interview, haven't you? No, I haven't. You on, on my son's life, I haven't. I was on Anna Foster's show uh, the other week, and right. she goes, "Oh, I can just imagine your household was like the Von Traps." Oh, fuck no, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even. My cracks aren't even authentic now. I'm not laugh- you, I haven't seen that. I'm I'm laughing. I don't even know the fucking Von Traps. <laughs> 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 They've all got massive shoulders. <laughs> So what's your, crowd, your, your parents play? Your parents so play? my dad was a musician, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it was just, yeah. And what does he? Does he? What does he play? Guitars? He plays. Guitar, sing? keyboards, sings. Oh, know. wicked! So and did he have you around the music since being a baby? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, I mean, he was probably doing like the clubs and yeah, stuff yeah. back then, you know. Um, but there was always, I guess, there was always a, a desire to sort of move beyond that yeah, sort of yeah. circuit, and, you know. Yeah, I totally get that. So, I, I totally get that. Um, 
you, you just want to you want to aim as high as you can. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I got a buzz when I because I didn't know you were doing St James's. You didn't even t- like you didn't tell me that. Yeah. St James's. Was and then I was like, that. everyone was like, because obviously all my pals had seen oh, you yeah. in my videos and were like, I was like, I was, I'm not even gonna. I was just mingling about the crowd, getting my tits off, like, <laughs> and um, I, just, I, I was deep in conversation with this other prick. Yeah, who was also off his tits talking about bricks and stuff. And so, <laughs> and my pal Woody was like, Woody, he's, he's like a big clumsy kid. He, he's, I'm gonna run by, come run over. He's like, yeah, 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 Kelsey, 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 lames on, lames on, lames on. <laughs> like his hands are going like that. He's going, Kelsey, 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 lames on. And I followed. I was like, I just I was like, oh, you. Hey, didn't tell me like I was off me nut, but I was cool as hell. Yeah, yeah you've got like a, a really um, different voice, like a diff. Totally, I like it though. Right, like, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got like a like a. It's like very deep, isn't it? When yeah, you sing, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was just a natural progression. Really, I was a choir boy. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, so <laughs> go, wait, come, come, because you do P I. Was it P I Z U? I, I, I can do P.S.U. as well. Oh, he's good at that, yeah. huh? Are we going to have... P.S.U. Like that? So we're going to have a P.S.U. Voice of an angel, where does that come from? Yeah. I wasn't a choir boy, like I was. Andy Nally. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it going to the arches and an exit, wasn't it? We're 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 we need to crow to us. We're the Compound age of like 140 and we're fucking... <laughs> we're doing PBSU in the fucking hexa marches. <laughs> so quite what right. else are we doing in the hexa marches? <laughs> <laughs> so you're a choir boy. I was head chorister. I was a choir boy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> David Brent, <isn't> it? <laughs> you know when he tells them jokes in front of everyone. You know how we say, you know how we say, you know, I've never come across a I've never come across so you started off as, as so was that was that your first time? <laughs> no, 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 that that was coincidental, really. Um, I, I don't know how that came about, to be honest with you. Um, never got bullied and all like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, not Danny, it's not a Danny Dye documentary. No, no, you know, you know, like, start off as a choir boy, end yeah. up as a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a really shit Billy Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a footballer, so not a dancer. Uh, really Auction. Or wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Who does wrestling? <laughs> oh, stop it, man. He started wrestling now. And I've got every phone call. Yeah, I'm just on my way to wrestling. Yeah. Let's keep quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can see that because you're quite the no, fucking big unit. Like, That's you know? it. He sets his lip up anymore, he's getting choked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's As, uh, floppy tits. <laughs> Try you keep getting hard. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I just keep on cloaking your face in my camera there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got Aaron. You've got Aaron here. He's, 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 he's a broken oh. man. <laughs> he, he does a uh, motai. More time. More time. More time. Cuts the grass and fucking knocks fuck up. More time. In this guy's fucking lawnmower. Can you pay more time? Is that like Motown from Thailand? I saw it. I did Thai boxing. We're going to the old Thai game. No Thai game. No more time. God didn't take it. I didn't take it. Yeah. So, so like I said, yeah. We started off with that. So what? I wrestled in Thailand. <laughs> it's like you know, do you know where uh, only frozen horses where he goes back in back in the war. I do remember. Uncle Alpha. Uncle Back in Thailand. Uncle Alpha. Can't come in room one. He'd had it all your book and a book and one of us. Uncle Alpha. See that day you were dressed as a rhubarb and custard. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to elaborate on that one. Fucking hell! I need to get the picture up. He comes walking at me. He's got this keep lemon top and his pink shorts. He looked like a rhubarb and custard. <laughs> and I say, you look like a rhubarb and custard, and he wasn't hammered. <laughs> That's what he means. That's your good clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to put the picture on. I'll leave you have to put the picture on. <laughs> hey, what a top one, man. Yeah, so obviously, fucking hell, we'll get there. In we'll the get end. there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. Where were we? So, first music instrument you were interested in? Drums. Drums? Yeah. So, like, when I was in, like, 
when I was with four, my dad worked in a recording studio. Yeah, and yeah. I used to just love going in and hitting shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. And like I still, anyone I still from... enjoy hitting shit now, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was just drums and uh, probably sort of later on just going to songwriting. Yeah, were, yeah. Were, you, yeah. were you taught? Well, who, were you, who was you like your main like, like teacher of music? Like your who you were, you know you were educated by in music. Yeah, it was pro probably just the sort of musicians that were hanging around the house, you know, mm -hmm. with dad's mates, really, you know. That would be cool as fuck, man. Yeah, it was, it was. I, you know, I think I genuinely believe it was sort of cool. quite um, archaic, really. Mm -hmm. um, just like, you know, was sort was or, see, or seen it as a sort of refusal to go about living an ordinary life. Mm -hmm. yeah, Which yeah. is a good thing. You know, the, the sort of, you know, <clears throat> it, I think the older you get, you realise the tyranny of that. Mm -hmm. Of yeah, just yeah. being stuck in this fucking rat race. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because you've yeah. done it like like obviously with with me doing the comedy. I didn't go into the comedy until I'd already done other jobs and that. You yeah, know? yeah. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Like I done it like the other way around. I think Mickey Flanagan and a few mm. others done that. But you've yeah. done the music. You, you did you even have any other jobs between or? Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I kind of I knocked it on the head. I kind of sort of hit a wall with it about five years ago. Yeah. Um, what the music or? Yeah, yeah. Right. I just ended and how up... old were you then? <clears throat> oh, I would have been 32, something like yeah, that, 33, yeah. and, you know, I'd just kind of become a bit disillusioned with it, um, and I, I just ended up doing a whole load of stuff I didn't want to be doing. I was running nights, I was in function bands, I was doing the covers gigs and, and all of that, doing bits of session work, and it just wasn't really what I'd get into. Well, you want to do, you know, know, yeah. It was yeah, always yeah, for me about writing and, and, and performing, you know. So, and uh, creative freedom. Yeah. So, yeah. so I've, I've actually got, I've, I've been a removal man for seven years. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So I kind of did it the other way around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I, 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 sort of pretty much it was sort of my job, sort of mostly through my 20s and that. And actually took a break from it and went and got a proper job, like. But now we've just. Uh... <laughs> but now I've just. Yeah, I got. Makes it better for when you're getting the stuff and when you're loading up at the, at the shows. Well, you know it's like, yeah, yeah. As a removal yeah. man, it'd be, well, it'd, be yeah. the best, <laughs> it'd be the best at it, won't he? <laughs> Carrying a guitar yeah, I mean, and it, I insist drums. on being my own room. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Right, how are you, lads? <laughs> I want to get somebody else to do that. Like, oh, that's the game, isn't it? So it is just, uh, yeah, album's just come out, hasn't it? I've just done an EP. EP I came I... out a week on Friday. Nice one, man. And that's getting quite a good response. So, Where can um, people find that? It's on all the platforms. All audio Spotify, platforms. The Amazon, Apple, whatever. iTunes. They're all there, all of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, check it out. And, uh, and check your single, the latest single. That, um, love that. Can you get that up? Yeah, we're here again. Which one? Time comes around. Or? Uh, time comes around. Which has a fantastic video. I don't know if you've seen it, James. I have seen it? the video with the, da the, the people doing that. Is it a ballet dancer? Yeah, it? two yeah, ballet dancers. Oh, There's a paramedic in it. Yeah. You, you, you got the full street. Me, I was showing my dad it yesterday, yeah. actually. I said, fuck me, it must have cost some money. This, you had the full street. It was street. a fun film. Like, we it was a deal. It was, was, was a funny day, man. How long did it take to film that? Oh, it was a kind of few It was a full day, like. I think I think we could, because we we're, we're trying, I didn't think we were going to get it in one take. But we, we did in the end. They've done really um, well, like the ballet dancers, they were fucking tremendous, oh, to be fair. They're, they're, they're he there. kept on looking at his little pouch, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> didn't he? <clears throat> when the day comes to dusk, <laughs> <laughs> the title forgets the words. <laughs> I love it, I love it. A dim light to dusk. You've got a lovely voice, like you have got a great That's voice. Good. You've got a very relaxing voice. It's funny that I've seen that. So it's it not. It's just, but it's not in reality. <laughs> Come on, because we're the best boats at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in it a few times. So he goes past. You go past you in the car, then he goes past you in Morrison's or whatever. Uh, where, 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 what shop was it? Was it so Morrison's? Oh, in my curries in it, man. Yeah, you're getting on. I got the the the, 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 ice of the trolley full of curries. Aye. So. I don't know if you get the context of yeah, that, but yeah. you see the deal. Yeah, oh, yeah, watch. Oh, my God. I saw a full load of curry cartons full of water, didn't we? And they just collapsed. There's everywhere. a period, look. Oh, there we go. There was There's a whole period, man. Look at it, man. Was that dog meant to be in it? In the background? Or was that just someone walking the dog? Can't remember. I didn't even clock there was a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. Is he seeing things? <laughs> 
Well, you seen the ambulance? But, but here we go. Look, there we go. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it was literally just somebody walking the dog. <laughs> what a bad thing to spot. Yeah, yeah I'm just observation. There's two bally dancers <laughs> on a council that, estate. That's your brain <laughs> all over that. Head. That is your brain to bits, that thing. <laughs> Distracting James Kilvin. <laughs> oh, look at this cool mother. No, he only... Oh, there he is. There's there he is, lad. There's Walter Finn. Finbar. Finbar. Good lad, Finbar, isn't he? Aye. Finbar, we met, I've, I've actually got a few good friends off oh, this set. I've come back to this film. Yeah, yeah. Louise and Brian. So what's the whole concept of the, of the video? I guess it's just sort of a cycle of life, I guess, isn't it, you know? Um, Shields. Shields, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, song, the, just, the song is about things coming good after a long period of, of, of sort of sadness, really, you know? I like the bit where it goes a bit higher, where, you, where, you, where you, it, like, there's a bit in it where... Yeah, man. That was a crease filming it though. I mean, you can imagine you put something up like that on, on the middle of North Shields Jeez. Town Centre on a Sunday. I mean, it was I. Everybody came out the woodwork. So you, had, you had the arm, yeah. we had these fake on police, right? And there was people sessioning in this fucking flat <laughs> above the shop, and you seen all their heads coming to the window, and there were fucking skits in the wooden. I love that bit, you know. <laughs> That's good, man. That's I, good, I, man. I, 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 I love that the way it's like, you know, like the video is still slow. Yeah, and he's just going he's for it. You know, I, I, for I, it, yeah, I like yeah. that bit in the video. Yeah. Oh, lost it there. there was a lot of concern around that from the public. Everyone thought that was real. That it looks yeah, real, doesn't it? Mark there, whose job was to just lie on the road all day, right? He had a hangover. I had a hangover. <laughs> I didn't realise the paramedics actually had oxygen. The they were giving the them the oxygen all day. I'm going, <laughs> bastards! I could have done with some. <laughs> and I had the shit. And, <laughs> and the guys who run the piano and doing them was trying to wonder. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you notice in the background, you will spot there's two two of my mates just pushing a piano down the street. So they got to do that like 12 yeah, times look, or something. Look, look, there we go, the curries. <laughs> the fucking curry boys. The curry boys. And here comes Liam now. Oh, yeah. 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 Shagger! <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> Top shags. <laughs> you can tell I was on the piss. That's one of them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the lads on my band. Yeah, are they all in your hey, band? Look at Stu pretending to play the violin incredibly <laughs> badly. Yeah. There's, there's uh, Brian. Brian. Right, dressed as me. He's in the the uh, Spain now. <laughs> what did you see, Bob? He's not got a canny pouch on him. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look, you see. <laughs> Hey, he's not got a canny pouch on I'll tell you what, you've got to, you've got to hand it to uh, Owen and Haley, they were fantastic. Oh, unbelievable. And to, you know, to have the guts to do that yeah. down the middle of... In oh, so shields, you know, well. is, is uh, something uh, like... No, lovely, two of my lovely people. Lovely, like, lovely, lovely people. It was good fun. Brings back memories, that was a, uh, it was a nice good, time, yeah. that. It was a nice time. So, are they, are they just like ballet dancers? And yeah, they're, yeah, we just... So, got in touch with This is the best bit. <laughs> oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Narcissist. <laughs> Narcissism. Narcissist. You know when he gets on the piss and that, you can uh, tell he brings people around his house again. You've seen this? <laughs> <laughs> He's great, man. He's fucking great. Uh, yeah, it's good. So, that, like I say, um, so <coughs> what's, what's your goals and what's your, what's your main, what, what you want? Obviously, everyone has goals. Well, um, you know, take it a step at a time, but the plan is to get an album out next year. And just get on that, get out on the road next year, and, and get as many gigs as possible, really. So you're going for a certain amount of, like, so say for example, with me with the comedy, like when I tour yeah. next year, I'll be going for like a certain amount of seats that I think I could do. Yeah, yeah. Is that what, it's the same with music like that, where you sort of think, right, I might, I might sell eighty, I might sell fifty. Yeah, there, but, I mean, you know. yeah, it, it's a funny one because you know I've built up quite a bit of a following in the northeast. So, yeah. for instance, I've got two gigs next month, which is uh, the. Capacity is 375 a night. Yeah, yeah. Nearly sold them two nights. Mint. I can't believe I respect that. And where's, but where's it, that it, in the It's like whether you can replicate that, 
nationally, you know, I think you've got to kind of get out there and start to build that whole thing up, really, haven't you? you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I, I, the ones that you came to with me when I done Billingham. Yeah. That I done like I, I had to push it and push it and push it and done like three hundred seats or something. Was it three hundred? About three hundred when yeah. you came. But then as soon as you go out the area, you've got to grab. Like, you yeah, know what of course. I mean? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you haven't got these big like. I mean, in, in comedy, I don't know if it's the same with music. There's a lot of like the, the bigger names, and don't get me wrong, they've grafted to get there, the proper grafted to get there, but they've also got massive agencies behind them. Mm. Sometimes pushing, yeah. pushing them, yeah, you yeah. know, with, with producers and, and and different like. Well, it's managers. always the case. Follow the money, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and when you when you're starting from a grassroots level, you know. So what are you into? One are you into just a certain type of music? Then who was your who was your? Oh mate, I listen to everything, man. But if you had to say like an inspiration, who yeah, who inspired you? Who was the? I think Bowie's got to be up there as, yeah, as, yeah. as the sort of, he just sort of ticks all the boxes, you know, the way he could just reinvent himself and he was totally unafraid as an artist Yeah. to, to just go down whatever avenue he felt like going down, you know? Yeah, yeah. So he's definitely up there, but I, just, I listen to all sorts, man. And who would you like now if, if you were, do you know, because obviously everyone has, it's like, like a boxer, say like a boxer who starts boxing, they're like Muhammad Ali, but then if you had, you had to tell him to name a boxer now, they'd name someone around. Well, He's got to get his boxing in, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> just to say, you, you've got to get the badass boxing in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that camera or is... is the camera still on him? <clears throat> uh, technical faults. Te it's just me knocking it with my big arms. <laughs> <hand. laughs> yeah, so, like, obviously, have you got any favourites now who are out on, on the circuit? Uh, do they, yeah, call, I mean, it, do they we... call it the circuit? Where you do? What do you call, you call the it? Scene? The scene, man. The scene. Yeah, the yeah. Scene. I mean, it's. it's it's I mean, when I think back to when I was sort of starting out like 20 years ago, there wasn't really much happening over the northeast in terms of a music scene, you know. Um, whereas now it's it, it's, it's really thriving, around, you know. Yeah, there's a kid around here called Finn Foster, he's doing all right, right? Yeah, he's, I was he's, a he's, lad you were saying you're uh, going, he's, 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 going to go and see him at the Clooney yeah, he's, he's got, got a great voice, you know him as well, Daniel. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got oh, a great voice, you, you love him, you. You love him. He's great. We're gonna go and see him in the, at the Clooney on the thirtieth of uh, this month, which is yeah. awesome. a lovely lad as well. Like he's a lovely uh, lad as well. Yeah. Um, so, so there's, there's uh, yeah, there's there's just there's it, it's really thriving. It's great to see. Yeah, there's you know obviously you've got uh, Daisies, which is uh, Bob's grandson's Bob. Uh, Bob. Bob. He's in a bar. Bob. He's in a bar. He's in a bar. I used to play the uh, triangle in a bar. Come on, bro. He's doing and, uh, well. Uh, I just you know there's. Uh, Loads of bonds, Hit McDonough, <laughs> Django, Flash, uh, your mate Andrew Cushion. Actually, I clock now. Look at me, sell in the mirror this morning, right? I've inadvertently come dressed as Andrew Cushion. <laughs> 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 Did you say what wig? What wig? Aye. What wig? <laughs> right on. He says Andrew Cushion, and he, he put on the bottom. Um, what was the song? Mm. Oh no no! What was the name you put on for Andrew? Andrew Cushion. Andrew Cushion. Andrew Cushion. Uh, uh, Andrew Cushion like. Proper Andrew Cushion. Do you like Cushion, Do you like every style of music then? Like do you know? Cause yeah. I I do genuinely like. If if someone said to me, if someone looked at my playlist on my iTunes, it's just genuinely. Oh everything. no! You need to get out of town with this. No, do you like even a happy hardcore? <laughs> I like happy hardcore. I like. But then do you like, like, like I like new monkey. I like yeah, I like new like monkey. I like death metal. What's up with your doors? What's up with your doors? I'm not a fucking angel. I'm not a fucking devil. But when I'm on the mic, I'm on a different level. But then I like me rap music. Then I like I like everything except that. Yeah, yeah. I love a bit MC on me. I love a bit. I only used to like when I was training back in the day. We went. We went to fucking look at this venue, right? And it was like fucking Adi and Ardo into like what they say, Iron Maiden and shit. All these people in Eton and fucking David Brent. I'm telling you. I tell you, bro. Honestly, if I wasn't like being on Never Mind the Buzz Cox, right? <laughs> Every song I come on, he was like, Yeah, yeah, I'll guess I'll guess the uh, these people weren't interested at all. He was like, Yeah, I know this one, I bet you didn't expect me looking like oh, this to know this Rosie. one. Whole lot of Rosie, yes, you did see. <laughs> Good song, See, look, I bet you didn't expect me to know that looking like this when you was looking like that. It was like so like fucking James what you need, man. Oh, Def Leppard. <laughs> It was a fucking roll. Hey, but you didn't know I had no anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm massive. I, 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 Rammstein. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I, I, Rammstein, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ich bin. <laughs> Bro, we've got a bit of Rammstein. And now you look, look, there's no... Ich bin. What's that mean? I am. Ich bin. <laughs> Sonny. I've got, got a bit of... Ich bin. James. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Rammstein, look, I've got, I've got a bit of the money, look. Dude. <laughs> 
Se voa, ele mandou um abraço. Have you heard them before? Have you never heard them? So that was a big more. <laughs> oh, they, so listen, this is my music background. <laughs> <laughs> when I was... <laughs> you know, he's spiritual. Bob he's, used to be in the I'm band, a tiger. you know? I'm a tiger. I'm a tiger. I'm a tiger. I'm a tiger by Bob Young, Christmas number one. <laughs> I was told in school, I was a bit naughty at school, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like, uh, ooh, I wasn't, ooh, I was a bit naughty. <laughs> I was a bit naughty. <laughs> I was a little bit naughty. I was a bit, <laughs> bit of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, but my teacher said, my mum worked at the school and she said like, listen, he could be like, he could be like an A-star student in music. Because I pick, pick music when I listen to it and play it. You know, if I'm right, playing yeah, the guitar, yeah. I play guitar self-taught. <laughs> That's what <I> me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm big on the guitar. <laughs> you got I'm, it in. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Someone's <laughs> probably like walk a dog. That one. What's that, son? <laughs> <laughs> Jim Royal, wasn't it, with Anthony? <laughs> Look, you. Somebody says, what do you want on the jukebox? You went, I want that and that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my brother plays yeah, yeah. it as well, but my brother right. was mad into like Metallica and that, you know, when he was right. like, yeah, like yeah, and then yeah. so obviously he was always playing Metallica. I was, I was mad into Nickelback and all that, you know, when I was young, you know, like you know, Chad Krug, like, <laughs> never made it, you know, like buzzing. Not, power, ma just not power many cards. people admit that that's just so yeah. freely, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was into everything. Was, so it was like a bit of a. I was, I was in all the all the rock bands, you know, the Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Krug, <laughs> six pence <laughs> not <the> richer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's funny as right? You know. For the crack, my, my brother's, it's, it's, it was his birthday on, uh, on the 3rd, and just taking the piss out myself, I got him a card on the very back of the card, that's what I put on it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Cali. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> just a, just, a, just a, some lyrics off Nickelback. <laughs> Never made it out of what I could have made it out of. on the back of his car. <laughs> what? They only had two songs, didn't no, they? No, it's a belt, it's Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, going to do a whole series in defense of Nickelback. <laughs> Chad he even brought a song for, he, Chad Kroger even brought a song for Spider-Man, didn't he? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to Should we hear? Do you want to hear his song he wrote? Yeah, I wrote a song when I was younger. <laughs> I wrote Don't Care when I was in school. I played it in my full class, year seven. Right, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were Fender Squire. Oh. <laughs> That's like that one on David Brenda's. He's going, nice tone, nice tone. <laughs> what is it, a Fender? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on Ibanez, it says on the neck. He's like, I'm not interested in plants. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know, do, you know, do you know? Do you know? how I? Do you know how I catch musicians out though? Right. You know, one of the guitars that my brother's got. It's not my guitar, but he's got you know the Jagger DSP guitars, the the one that James Effield does out of Metallica. Oh right, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got one of them, and uh, so every time I'm talking to like a mosher or like you know, someone into rock music, or something, you know, if they start talking about guitars and they're like, "What guitar have you got?" Even though it's not mine, I go, "Yeah, I've got an ESP." <laughs> and they go, oh, "Have you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I know my music." <laughs> A jagged one, black ESP guitar, yeah, yeah. And I'm not just into the power cards and that. Like. Oh, and I'll say, yeah, you drop D in that, yeah, you put that, drop D that, and just put. Yeah. You play a bit of guitar. I, I made... Bobby, Bobby was a drummer. I tell you, we could have We should have had a little jam. Yeah. Why don't we make a Christmas number one news? <coughs> just like that. <laughs> Let's just make a Christmas no, number I'll, one. I'll think with with <laughs> with with the right video. Even if it's shit, the song. Carl, Carl, right. I'm just trying to get my career off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to fucking walk it up. Fucking chance and tears. You know what? Where that's new. Do you know what? Who the fuck's this Liam Fender? Done that two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know one of the worst things I've done, right, in lockdown? One of the worst things I've done, what you've just said there about, you've asking him to do a fucking Christmas song there. You know about this, don't you? One of the worst things I ever done, right? right. So I was doing a show years ago and Ultra Beat were DJing there. So Chris Henry, the, who DJs for Ultra Beat, he's, he, he, I got, became friends with him and that. And then lockdown was on and everyone was watching that, uh, what's it called, that Tiger King. Oh, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, with Joe Exotic. Really he, Joe Exotic. Yeah, oh, and, and he had a song on, yeah, woke up this. this morning with... And it was like like a, a proper little banger, you know, of a tune, but like never, ever done out, but it's on the on the song. 
And I was just like, sat in my house one night and I thought, got an idea. <laughs> and like our last said, it's the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done in my life. And I rang Chris from Ultra Beat. Just rang him, wasn't drinking or anything. This is me just being normal, just sober. Rang up and he was like, all right, lad. I was like, all right, mate. And he's probably thinking I was ringing him to say, oh, there's a, a big gig gone here if you want. You know, like, like someone's been asking and they get you as a DJ. And I was like, I've got an idea. And he was like, go on then, lad. <laughs> and I went, I went, well, I'm thinking, right, you know, like, because you've got, like, pretty green eyes and you've got all them, like, the tunes and all that. And he's had, like, number ones. And I was like... Why don't you... Because everyone's into that target thing. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you remix Joe Exotic? <laughs> so, like, when it's in the club... What the fuck? And now my idea was, like, you know, like, people would be dancing, and then it'd be like, woke up this morning, morning, morning. <laughs> <laughs> because you look... <laughs> 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 and then he was like... And he just went to me... Lad, he went, do you know you're a comedian? And I was like, yeah, and he went, he went, would I ring you up and tell you how to write jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah. He's like, no bother, James. <laughs> Have a good night, fella. <laughs> so, yeah. But we always laugh about it now. I said, I said, remember when I was getting like little ideas I made and I'm, I've even got the messages, I'll put them up on here. When I said, remember when I messaged you about putting Joe Exotic on? You know, Joe Exotic, Ultra B featuring Joe Exotic. I think it'd go big, do you? Know? Exotic. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. It'd go big, that wouldn't it? It'd be a big tune. Everyone'd be like, oh, there's that Joe Exotic. <laughs> Ultra B. It would be relevant again. <laughs> but yeah, so so what inspires you then with the music? Do you just, just so if you're writing music, do you just. Do you have an idea before you write it? Or, no, or it, it just comes from the ether, you know? It, you just wake up in the middle of the night with an idea. But you're, inter- you're, you're, a, you're a deeply spiritual person now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I post, what was it I shared? I shared, like, was it one of the interviews? I shared something that you had done on the Ginger Cat and Friends. And this fucking page, this Jody Ghost Hunt has put, he must be into fucking demonic satanic <laughs> shit now because that's the only way to achieve it, mate. <laughs> you know, it's just like... Send me what? so with the <laughs> What was that? I find the comment like, fucking hell. I think he sold his soul or something. Aye, uh, so it's fucking mad. Something mad like that, yeah. wasn't it? So do you just like, is it like... But it just, it just got like... It, it, it's just from day to day life, isn't it? You know, you just got... I mean, I don't know how it works for you, where, you, where jokes and that will come from. It'll just... They'll, they'll sort of... I would imagine sometimes things just come from nowhere. You know? I know that's what I find because I think it's different. I don't. I don't think it's different, but I think it's like telling. Like, so, so it might not come from like a story. Something might happen. Yeah. You know, say like say I'm say I'm walking in at Tesco's or something. Something might be said to me, and I'll think that's funny. That yeah. They've just said something so funny there that everyone knows it's funny, but it can also grow arms and legs. Yeah. So so it could be a story you tell me. I might take that story off you. And I might make it my own story. So yeah, com- yeah. comedy has sort of got to be like, it's got to be a bit of truth, I think. It's got to be a lie. It's got to be a total lie as well. It's got to be like over-exaggerated <laughs> yeah, yeah. truth, but you've got to still make it believable. I think that anyway, I think anyone who's going to watch comedy, unless you're watching Clinton Baptiste or Angelos Epiphany or someone like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. who's just altogether just a character and being daft. Yeah. But I think comedy, the best comedy is like someone who's telling someone that's like just, like it could happen. It's, it's, yeah. it's a you know good what I mean? Like, when you say it's got arms and legs, because like, that, that, that one I tell about my nana's funeral, like, yeah, that, yeah. that literally, after you would say that, it grows arms and legs. It does when, you, when, you, when you're speaking it on stage, something will happen and you, and you tie yeah, it yeah. off and then it, it does it. Transforms. It's all interlinked though. I think there's, there's crossovers. And then I think some, the difference with comedy though, I don't know if this is the same in music, but definitely don't think it will be the same anyway though, is sometimes when you're doing a, say for me, I'm an observational Stop it again. that noise again? <laughs> Some, sometimes, um, as an observational comedian, I might say a joke, but then halfway through my jokes, I do a lot of improvisation. Yeah, I might yeah. add something to it without thinking that night, yeah. and that'll get a huge laugh. And if I've got that on video, I'll go back and watch that, and I'll think, oh, that was funny that I'll add that in next time. But well, that won't happen with music, will it? You yeah, won't. Yeah, have... you will do. Yeah. You but you have a bit of added. Some... on gigs, you know, it's, you know, they'll, they'll just see, be well, a certain we, moment of magic, we and, first... and it'll, you know, and then you go, all right, that, that we were that's first doing it. Uh, Carl would just think of something oh, and we didn't write it just happened didn't it it happens with video making as well that, that I, it's, with the video making it just <laughs> happened you know what I mean and, and now we're getting further into it now you know and yeah. it, but some things that we think of they're not funny but we end up making it's, them funny somehow like an idea <coughs> can transform from when we're filming it I, yeah. but I mean majority of the sort of way it is I'd live anyway yeah yeah 
Can we never write now? Do we really do? I had to write every day. <laughs> no, I <laughs> <no>, just... Like, <laughs> you me notice fucking chocker. I would put a little idea, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, like, like plan sketches and that. Aye, aye, I'm aye. writing, I'm writing, aye, aye. Well, for me, it's, it's <clears> two, <throat> two of the greatest things in life is music and laughter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I couldn't, aye. I think I'd be a gunner if those things didn't exist. Oh, and, yeah, and they very much go hand in hand, I think, you know? Oh, and There's a long history of, of, of musicians and comedians sort of... There's even comedians. There's even mu- musical comedians. Yeah, yeah. Like Bill, Tim Minchin and stuff. Bill Bailey. Yeah. Oh, Bill Bailey. He's talented, Tim isn't he? Bill Bailey. He's oh, really talented. Yeah. There's a lot of talented musicians. So I've, I've, I've done a song about gingers on my YouTube. That's got about half a million. That I done that when I first started, and but everyone was commenting saying that like, Tim Minchin had done something similar, and I started watching Tim Minchin. But I. I don't really find it funny. It's like. a cheat mode doing it using a guitar. You really right? sold that like Carl. <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> yeah. It's shit. shit. I don't know how it's Check got it a million views. <laughs> it's fucking shit. You know what I mean? Frank Skinner, <laughs> Frank Skinner before, one of the lads said that he went on stage, he, he put a guitar in the background when he was on stage. Uh-huh. And he just done his full set for like an hour and a bit, and then no, walked. waiting on him playing the guitar. <laughs> waiting on him, and then he just walked off and picked his guitar. And walked <laughs> <on stage. laughs> He's just put that. Used to do that. Yeah. That's quite good crack. That it is good crack. I like that. I've got a Frank Skinner story. Actually, he played one of my tracks on his radio show. Oh, did he? A couple of months back, yeah. But he didn't know. He obviously didn't have a clue who I was. And uh, he says, "Oh, my producer tells me that Liam happens to be the brother of Sam Fender." And he clearly didn't know who War Kid was neither, because he went, so maybe it's next year we'll have another brother doing Eurovision. <laughs> he was like, Sam Ryder, wasn't he? <laughs> 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 I'm sure, you know, I wish I could find the clip. You'll be able to. Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> oblivious. Completely oblivious. Did you tell your brother? <laughs> no, I don't think I have. So, so you, you, is your, is that's it, fucking <laughs> So is Sam younger than you or older than you? Yeah, he's younger. He's younger than you. So obviously, he's very, very, bit. very successful as well. And you've got a successful family, haven't you? You know, like you were on the two, yeah. you were on the two support. Plasterers, plumbers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can tell you, <laughs> tell you about classes. <laughs> uh, you were on the two support. Is it classes two? Is that what it's classed as? No, no, I wasn't on the two. I uh, I got up at St James's. That's midnight. So how many people were there? Oh, I Fifty thousand a night. I, I was, think that was. What was that like to play? Fucking the... insane, man. And how did it feel? Do you nervous? You gotta be honest. Oh, see, the builder was horrific. Oh, tell him about um, <laughs> Oh, that was that was last year at the arena. What was it? Yeah, oh, so I, I was in James's. I, so I, I, this, I, this is funny. This. I want to hear both stories. I got, so I got, I got up and did a bit at the arena last year, and uh, <clears throat> and a lot a lot of the sort of tune players come come to them gigs, you know. But I'm like from a family of awesome footballers, massive Newcastle United fans. <laughs> Me, I'm kind of nonplussed by it all. Yeah, yeah. So Kieran Trippier comes up to us and he was like, oh, Liam, great show, man. Loved your playing and all that. And I was like, oh, cheers, mate. What's your name then? <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, oh, okay. it's Kieran. Oh, nice to meet you, Kieran. And I was like, so what do you do then? <laughs> I didn't know a clue who he was. But I, th- I think he genuinely liked it because he'd been just like getting pestered by people all night. Yeah, and yeah. And there's this bloke who literally didn't have a fucking clue it's, who he was, you know? It's yeah, years ago, <coughs> there's a place called Teesside Park. Cal's been there with me before. It's like a little shopping area in, in Tea. Teesside, Teesside Park. When you take this round to our Teesside, look how fucking poor these are. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it was near Christmas time. And, uh, it was near Christmas time. And me, my ex, my baby's mum, my ex girlfriend's brother, he was with us. He was 13 at the time. And it was like, and it was, we're doing Christmas shopping, walking around. And, uh, and I, as we're walking about, Yannick Gers, the Iron Maiden guitarist, walks out. And me, he lives near me, mum and dad. They right. know him. And so I've known him since I was younger. So I was like, all right, Yannick, like that. And he, he put his phone, he said, hey, James, all right. And it was when I was still training and doing a bit of boxing and that. And he was like, is that you still boxing? And he was with Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer out of Iron Maiden. But I didn't want to say, hey, Bruce, because I don't, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, <laughs> First name but too. I was thinking, fucking hell, it's Bruce Dickinson, the Iron Maiden lead, like, lead singer. I was thinking, it's Bruce, like, what do I... Like, like, I just say, I mate. So I just was like, I mate, all right. But I knew he was, obviously. No, and I was, yeah. I was, so I was talking to them both for ages. And, uh, like, my ex girlfriend's little brother was there, and he's only 13. And he's just looking at them both, just quiet, like that. And they're both obviously, he's, Bruce has got normal, like, hair, like, hair, like yeah. Liam's, and, and Yannick's got long hair down to there. They've both got, like, the, the just normal gear on jeans and leather jackets or whatever. And they're talking away for ages and all that. And, uh, 
as I walked away, I said, have a nice Christmas and have a good one. He said, you too, James. Have a good Christmas, you and your family. <laughs> and he said to me, who the fuck are them two scruffy cunts? <laughs> That's like probably the richest person in the whole of fucking Teesside Park. <laughs> Do you know what he said? All the fucking them two scruffy cunts. Honestly, he's not. He's got his own plane. He, no, drive, he, used, to, he used to fly them, didn't he? He, 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 he does everything, doesn't he? He used to fly yeah. them. But well, there's some big that. artists, isn't there? From from the, there's quite when you start looking into it and like if you go on Google and say big artists from like the North East, even Borough alone, like, like Chris Streeter and that, we've obviously... Oh, yeah, well. And then Bruce Dickinson's from, from Hartlepool, aren't is he from Hartlepool? Is he? I think he's oh, from, okay. from oh, Durham. Is he from yeah. uh, ACDC singers from Durham. Uh, yeah. um, what's he called? Uh, Brian Johnson. Brian yeah, Johnson. Brian Johnson. Good lord. And Brian then Jimmy Johnson. Neal and all that. Then you've got, like, um, in Newcastle, you've got, like, some massive names, haven't you? Obviously, you've got your brother as well, you coming yeah, through. Yeah. But even even past that, we've got loads, haven't they, from Newcastle? Even sort of behind the scenes and stuff like that. Sort of like Gem Archer, from, <laughs> who was guitarist in Oasis. He's mm -hmm. from, like, County Durham, mm -hmm. you know? So they, 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 Dire Straits. Where's Dire Straits? Martin Offley, he's from, uh, I think he's from Blythe originally. Aye. It's Mr. 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 Sting! Oh, it's Austin. Mr. Sting Sting, from yes. the massive fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> from what I'll say. Hang on, hang on now, the shadows he was from the North yeah. East. Right. Brian Ferry. Brian Sting yeah. yeah. was a teacher at Landale, wasn't he? Chad Kroger uh, from Nickelback. What I call him. Um... <laughs> Chad Kroger from Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where he's from? <laughs> East Holden. <laughs> Sting, Sting was from Cromwell. Not Wall's End. Not Wall's End, Richard. Speaking of. I used to work on his milk, his father's milk thing, man. When you, I was ill. You used to work on Sting's father's milk float tree. I, I used to steal his milk, milk, his milk, milk float. It does, this is, uh, what was his father called? Oh, I forget no, I can't remember. Mr. Sumner. Mr. Sumner. Mr. Sumner. Did Mr. you see the thing I shared last night on, on my story of, of that shifty shell shock who was in Crazy Town? Can you remember Crazy Town? Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Aye, aye, yeah. Have you seen him now? I off the drugs, aye. <sighs> yeah. It, Would it, you be better back on them? <laughs> no, on the, he's off the drugs. He's off. <laughs> oh, right. oh, is he off the drugs? You've seen him now. Doesn't look like he's off the no, drugs. No, he's not off them at all. He, he, he had, and they had a few bangers. Them, his, his net worth's like ten grand. Obviously, I think he's just on the meth. You know, like, <laughs> so don't go on the meth. The he's meth still got man, ten grand. Yeah, yeah. I get cravings for the meth. It's 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 mm. mad. It's it's mad how some of these like people who who make it, they just blow them. It must be. I find it so fascinating. I, I, I think make. it's a, I think it's fear. Is where the addictions start. Is just having to deal with fame and, and you know yeah, I and the intrusive side of life you know you, you only have to look at look at what happened to Amy Winehouse she yeah it's sad that isn't it she's one of the most talented tragic. people we've ever had in the UK yeah, yeah. escapism drugs is the use of escapism well yeah uh, you know it, it is true some of the some of the Got Amy some Winehouse, of the best man. and worst songs I've admit. ever written have Look, even me, I had a head in, Be in Benidorm. <laughs> <laughs> you, we all had fear, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> he was getting stopped every two two seconds in Benidorm, Bob. You know, for Benidorm, pictures. Bob. Um, Benidorm, ev Benidorm, everyone Bob. was everyone was even sending me pictures, you know, from T size, <laughs> just like like round here. They were sending pictures, like saying, oh, "I've just bumped into Bob." You could see <laughs> only, each picture. He, he, the more and more pictures I came through before the end, he was smiling on the first ones. At the end, he was like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he rang me. He was like leaning against the pillar. He was like, ah, "I've had to get away. I've had to take a bit of respite." He says, "It's fucking stupid. This. I wish I'd never come." <laughs> <laughs> bit of respite. Remember that time when I was walking? I was walking up the steps in um, colour coats. Oh, into the guy the restaurant. That was a Buddha Lounge, wasn't it? The Buddha Lounge in there. So he turned bottom of your photo, and I get a photo. Walked away, phones him next year. It was your Sammy, so I need him a fucking recognise. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, best of it is, he turns away and went, who the fuck was that? Who the fuck was that? That's good. <laughs> That was funny this morning, wasn't it, when that car went past and <laughs> recognised you? <right? laughs> <laughs> He's gone, oh, somebody recognises us, you know. <laughs> somebody was that. James! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count like that, wouldn't it? Wind, it? <laughs> He's like, ah. So like, we're on Alan Portridge, isn't it? Are you Alan Portridge? <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, you, you drop your driving license. <laughs> Cash back. <laughs> uh, you're a bloody mentalist. It's <laughs> classy mini Partridge. Steve Corgan. <laughs> Have you seen that the one? Soft rock <laughs> cocaine enthusiasts. Well, just tell them that on the way. <laughs> just tell them on the way. I was reading the other day. Um, I was just, the display was delayed, right? So there's queues and queues of people seeing the, the hostess, their hostess, you know, getting sorted. 
And this bloke, big bloke, walked up and he fucking banged him. She was like, I want to play now. And I fucking want, I want to fucking uh, first class. And I want it now. I've got to be in London. He went, look, calm down. You've got to wait in the queue. Do you know who I fucking am? She was going to me. She went, I've got a man at number 14 desk. Could anybody tell us who he is? <laughs> 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 so back to the so you done that arena obviously so oh it's on about music oh, yeah yeah so the, the Saint James <coughs> oh, so how did that come about obviously I know you, your brothers obviously uh, I so. got asked to do it that's uh, nice that's nice uh, to yeah, sound though isn't it says what's the pay like and I went yeah I'll do I'll do it then so did is it have you always been close because I've got brothers I've, I've two older brothers and, and obviously oh well, you know, yeah because how many of you is, is it just, just you? me and him but like this like I'm sort of eight and a half nine years older than him. Yeah. So, oh, so there wasn't it was not, not no rivalry growing up, you know, because I was yeah. just the big brother, you know. Mm. Uh, it's only now that the rivalry's like kicked in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be like Liam and Noel, are you? <laughs> uh, I did, so if if me and him were in a band, right? You wouldn't. We would, be like, we would make fucking the Gallagher's look like Jedwood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who yeah, would yeah. who would win? Me. <laughs> yes, I'll rule it out your back yourself. I love it. You listen to this, Samuel. <laughs> you listen to this. So then, he, did, he just, did he just phone you? Or did, did, so, with someone like that, because he's a massive name as well. Your brother is a massive it's name. Hard, like, the thing is, it's does he phone you? Or does his agent have to ring you? So will, you <laughs> will you jump? Will you jump? Will you jump on support for, for your brother? Or did he ring you himself and say, "I'm going to ask you"? Or yeah, uh, no, no, he asked me. Uh, yeah. And then, and, the, and then I, I said, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like? Make what, it what? <laughs> <laughs> if that's my role, I shall take it. <laughs> so what, how, how many songs did you do on that one? Just one song. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. What, what, good, good gig, that. One song, boosh. What, oh, what, what, what was it like, like honestly walking out? Like, oh, it's an unbelievable one. It's just great, like, these massive platforms on the side of the stage and just walking along them, you know, and just... All these faces, it was like a proper buzz, like. Yeah. Of course it is, it's yeah. class. Yeah. Unreal one, really, isn't it, when you yeah. think on that scale? Well, as well, I think it's like, how how many people get an opportunity to do something like that in their life? I you know. know? And what about Les trying to catch tickets to Daft Punk? <laughs> <laughs> Two <laughs> days before the kick. So Les, Les, Les rang me, right? But he must have fucking been resting on his laurels thinking, oh, Carl, Carl now's fucking Sam and Liam, I'm going to get tickets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he rang us, he was like, Carl? I was like, oh, he goes, is, is there any chance I can get here? Tickets for uh, like Nally for 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 uh, for, for on, on the weekend. I was like, I was like, fucking hell, I, was like, I wouldn't even ask him. I said, oh, my tickets sorted, mate. He was like, is it? All right, then he went. Are you sure you can't ask? I went. I went. Me, I said, I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. And then I hung up. And then he. You phoned for Liam. Fucking phone's going. Les shuttle with him. So you gonna fucking ring this phone? <laughs> Hello, mate. And he's like. Hey. Hello, Paul. How's it going? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, this cunt's never fucking wrong me. He's going, so uh, big weekend and all that, isn't it? Uh, see if uh, there's any tickets for me. <laughs> just, for, just for my last, she really wants to go. <laughs> 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 Uh, the way I, I had to turn my phone off for, for two days when I'm not going to get it. Because everybody was yeah, just yeah. going like... I mean, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, even even gigs when like someone's on, like like Jamie Hutchinson on, on the Hard Rock one, I, yeah. I'll get messages, you know, saying, how do I go about getting tickets? And there's fucking, there's fucking ten posts to move a ticket <laughs> link. I, I get that all the time. People messages on Instagram. When is your next gig? Where can I buy your music? <laughs> you know it, don't you? You see it, don't you? It's a raw. Can I still get Napster? <laughs> so down, down. I miss MySpace. Man. Yeah, My, yeah. Was so that was one of the days. Bebo. MySpace. MySpace, Bebo. MySpace. You'd be, I'd have been able to Bebo. I'd have been, I wish I still had my own that MySpace profile. It used, me a hat. it used to be me with a hat on like that. That is, is, is gone on. Still with, no, with no top on. Just looking at the camera. Just, I don't know if it's still there. Is it still on the Cyberweb there, Aaron? Cyberweb. It's reflective. Who was MySpace guy again? Was that Tom? It's Tom, I... Was it Tom? Yeah, he was, oh, like, he was in your top friend. He had to be number one. He was a right narcissist, wasn't he? <laughs> was it you when you think that? Tom, Tom, was it Tom? Was it MySpace, wasn't he? I'm going to see a documentary, whatever happened to Tom. Netflix documentary, he's, he's probably, please. like, a down and out somewhere. Aye. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> like, top, he, he, he like made sure that he was like number one friend. He had to be in your top friend list, didn't he? Everyone had Tom as the top friend list. What a dick. What a, what a dick. <laughs> if you're watching at home, could anybody tell us what happened to Tom? Yeah, what happened to yeah. Tom? Right, what happened to Tom? We're all going to Google it after this. Hashtag right? a search for Tom. Who's Tom? <laughs> Who's Tom? <laughs> Who the fuck's Who's Tom? Tom? What was his second name? Uh, MySpace. <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom MySpace. Tom in MySpace. What happened to Tom? Uh, Let's see what happened to Tom. Are you talking about Tom Thumb? Little Tom, little tiny Tom. It's upgraded like since the last time I asked. Bloody hell, hell. hell. Is this MySpace? Yeah. Fuck it, I'm so Fucking what? I don't know if I'm still on it. <coughs> What's your name? Uh, I'll just name Bender. Oh, oh yeah, Jesus gone. Christ. Oh! Oh God! What the? There's fuck? some awful shit on there. Turn it off. Turn it off. Let's turn it off. Let's get rid. Get rid. If you uh, you go on Google and put put get Tom rid. Put Tom MySpace. <laughs> get rid. We'll be going and find it later on. I get rid of it. Tom MySpace. MySpace. Tom. American entrepreneur. Let's have a look. There he is. There he is. There he is. Tom Anderson. Yeah. Go on, Tom lad. Hey, there's a familiar then, smell. Now, so now say, what Tom and what happened to Tom Anderson? Whatever happened? What happened to? There we go, Tom from. What happened to Tom? Tom? That's a good song. Yeah, that name. To We're onto something there. He's what currently in investing both SpaceX and. Couldn't invest in both. He's what? what is he's pals with Elon Musk now? Selling MySpace has been spent on caption. Totally breathtaking images and video mm -hmm. while he surfs and travels the globe. However, he's not shared any of his travel posts since 2008. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. Since 2018. Oh my Watch god. What's his net worth? Put Tom Anderson's net worth in. Aye. Tom Anderson. This is good, this. Tom Anderson. 60 million. Net. How 60 much? 60 million. Yeah. Oh, nah, fuck me. No, Pop a change, that's yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What? MySpace sold for 580 million dollars. Uh, How's he worth 60 million? 540 million, 580 million there. What, what, what's going on? Oh, what's here? Look at him doing the finger. Look at him, giving it out. He loves it, doesn't he? What a dick. What's finger. these things? What's <laughs> that construction? <laughs> what's this? What's this? What's that this? Like, that looks like a dildo, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> that looks like a funny. Aaron, what's your algorithm up to? <laughs> he's been, he's been on your, he's what's been, this? he's been on your OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 That's a good night in that, by the way. <laughs> what is What's that? What's up, Blue Fee? What is it? Come on in the ring, it's got me. Why are the chains so hot? It's because we're searching MK man now last week. <laughs> it brings Aaron's, it's trying to suggest things for him to fucking. Plot is next to Borchery with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pushy on one, a pushy on one side, a dildo in on a chin, so what's he gonna do? A dildo? <laughs> what the hell, like? What could you do with that one? Uh, Fuck me. No, uh, let's all ask, let's, oh, is this how long we've got left? What's this? Oh, oh time fucking flies, man. Yeah, this has been the it. fastest flying episode ever. I'm wondering. So, favourite song ever? Oh. You've been asked, you must have been asked this before. Toss up between which and alignment. Oh, get what you give by the new radicals. That ah, was in. Get what get what you give. That, that is up there with like it was a one hit wonder. That is up there on that list of songs I wish I'd written. That is such a. Get chill. what you give, right? I for years thought it was you two. Really? Honestly, really? <laughs> I did. I did. I mean, it sounds now like them. I know, but, yeah, but yeah, genuinely, yeah. Did. I think yeah. it does sound a bit like them I, instrumentally. I, I, and the reason the reason I liked it so much, get what you give, is me and my mate used to work as a pot washer when we were 14 year old. And and every time we used to the chefs used to leave, we used to when they'd go out the kitchen, we used to fucking like he used to pass me the plates and I'd frisbee them over the field. You know, so we didn't have to wash as many pots. <laughs> like I'd we used to frisbee them over the field. And we used to make loads of sticky toffee puddings, you know, in the kitchen. When the when New Radicals was always on, because it was a CD place, so we used to stick so it you're on. You're a chef, no wonder boxer. No, no. <laughs> I, I, tried to be, no I, tried, I tried to be a chef. I lasted three days because the guy said I talked too much and said, he, if you don't carry on talking, you're going to have to fucking pluck the chickens on your own in the cupboard. And I talked the fuck off. I was going to be a fucking doctor. I couldn't get, I couldn't get the patient. I didn't <laughs> <laughs> what's your I'm not on that what's your, Yeah, what's your favourite song? Mine. <laughs> 
Come as you are, Lorna. Come on, Lorna. Come as you are. 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 Come as I don't have to shuffle me. I listen to the same song like fifteen times. Rob, I'm calling me off three days in a row. Luke Combs, like Luke Combs, he's class. He's country, he's country like rock, but he's he's great, great. I went to see him last year in, in Glasgow. My favourite to Bee Gees because I was thirty years before the time then. Got love it. Actually, how deep is your love? That's a, that, that, that is a phenomenal song. Did you do much shagging to the Bee Gees? I don't know what you're shagging to the Bee Gees. Careless love. Put the Bee Gees on my set. By setting his pants down, put the Bee Gees on. I started a joke. That's a great scene on on the film, the film, the fight with Mark Wahlberg. Have you seen it? Christian Bale in it. He starts singing that when he gets found in the crack den. Oh, what do you want? He starts singing I Start the Joke by the Bee Gees. I Start the Joke. Do you know what? I'm going to love Be- them Bee Gees. You do. Really but look, like Corbs are great. You, you, you would like right. them. And Morgan Wallen, two, two, two Americans, obviously, smashed it you thinking you're country stuff? No, do you, do you know what it was? It's, it's, look, I just found this song one day. Look, he's massive. But he's huge, honestly. So last, like, last year, yeah, oh yeah, he's a big bloke oh, as well. Yeah. Big ginger fella. Look at Cal's dad. Um, <laughs> 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 How many people have made me time now? <laughs> well, fucking, it's every time I fucking deal someone on Instagram. But me, know, me know, last went to see him last year, that <laughs> see country to country in Glasgow Arena. he done that and he'd sold it out. But this year, I couldn't even get tickets for him. Like, he's, right, he's yeah, smashing yeah. it. Like, I should have rang Les, he can get you tickets. <laughs> 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 well, why are you doing that? I was going to ask you if you are getting me some tickets for love. <laughs> You'd, you'd, honestly, you'd like him if you get cha- if you get right, chance yeah. to listen to him. Like you've heard a few of him. No, he's good oh, he's in his class. Yes. He, he's, I think he's like breaking all records. Like the same as like. Is he full country? You've heard him. You've listened to him in the car with me. You, you like him? On with on with the hard rock one, one for the hard rock meeting. You, you, oh, I, I, I. But he's like he's broke all records now. Like he's like smashed it. Right. Like like he's he's. Whenever, yeah, he's he's, 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 oh, I don't, I don't he's, like him. <laughs> <laughs> Too mainstream for me. Well, that's what you know. What some people were saying that about him. When I seen that in the comments, there was like fans saying he sold out. That's what happened with Kings Leon and that one. Everyone said they went too mainstream and shit. Like, people get that when, when people do well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah too mainstream. We will never get that, will we? Because <laughs> <laughs> we won't fucking make it. <laughs> Well, honestly, mate, so what's next then? What's next for you? So, do you want to tell people your page to follow you on and, and, and yeah. what's next? What any two is it? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or X or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, all of them. You'll yeah. see more of our socials as well when this yeah. goes out. So, yeah. and have you got any dates coming up in what, what's coming up? So, what have we got left this summer? We've got Hardwick Festival, um, and then I've got the two, two headline shows at the Salt Market in September. They're nearly sold out, though, aren't they? The first night sold out. Second night's nearly so What date is that? 15th and 16th of September. Six, and that's oh, in... that's the same time as us, isn't it? No, you're away then. No. That's the date yeah. you go to Thailand. I'll go on the... Th- I, I get <coughs> the we'll do a live link to Thailand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's just 15th. Yeah, it's just we're, we're planning to sort of maybe get a little tour on the on the road towards the back end of the year and just sort of see where it goes from there and just then... <clears throat> Get to work on the album, really. Best of fucking up, you mate, pal. Aye, it's a good business. He'll get there, yeah. and I I'm sure you'll smash. you got a good voice, you got a great voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. It was a bit, bit like... Love it, rustic, lovely jo- voice. Elvis slash George Ezra. <laughs> My house and up house. <laughs> no, you've got a really unique voice. It's like good, I like it. Um, keep, keep smashing it. Keep smashing it, I'm sure. We'll all hopefully rise together. Go Patreon on. team. <coughs> oh, yeah. Thank you to the Patreons and the sponsors um, for keeping me in the studio at the minute. It's fucking sweet as hell. So we've got exclusive content over on the Patreon now. Uh, there's different levels of the Patreon, which you can subscribe to. Um, super cool. Um, thank you very much to those who have subscribed so far. And it's been cool. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Love yous. Read the small print. <laughs> I always. Yeah, so thanks very much for listening. Thanks for subscribing, hitting like. I've been James Kelvin and I'll be Callum Subscribe there, there, where, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And we've had none other than the legend. Mr. Liam Fender. Liam Fender. Hey, boys, it's been a pleasure. Cool as fuck. Love you, man. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.